Hidden in the Algen Valley is a little breakaway spot called Old Magdadi that is surrounded by pristine agricultural land. We have been eyeing this place out for a long time, but with it being sold as a boutique style breakaway, it comes at a premium. Recently, they ran a special that we grabbed quickly and managed to have a quick breakaway for one night. To get to the Algen Valley, we had to traverse the iconic Solaris Pass that connects the small town of Gordons Bay to Grabo, the center of the Algen Valley. The pass gives amazing views of the Helderberg Basin, the Helderberg Mountains and the ocean. One of those special places in the world where the mountains and the ocean share your view. The views are always spectacular no matter the time of year, but don't get caught in the holiday traffic as the short pass will take you hours to get through. The Algen Valley is popular for its vast array of forests, orchards, fruit, flowers and vineyards. It's known to produce the best apples in the world. Along the Algen Valley route, you will find the Hohook Farm Stall. This is a must stop. You can pick up some of the best quality apple juice produced in the area and some of the best meat pies you will ever find. It's well worth stopping on your trip where you will find assorted farm stall treats and snacks. Old McDaddy is like no other place we have experienced. Built around Airstream campers that are now staggered strategically across the mountainside, it presents a unique experience for everyone. Even more unusual is that each camper has been designed with different themes creating an exclusive experience each time you visit. They also have their own spa, restaurant, man-made beach and a bunch of activities to keep you busy. Although a little run down, overall we had a great experience. And complimentary with every room, there's a workout. After having a rough day in gym, doing legs and then coming here and getting up to our room no more leg day for this month so a little bit of um, welcome to our crib this here is the bedroom and there's bear yeah the bed's not made up anymore we we're resting on it is it comfy can I jump on it with you sure just don't jump on me <laughs> hit it what would you like me to hit you that's not very <laughs> nice but we are at Old Mac Daddy. Had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. <laughs> we decided we were going to take a little bit of a end weekend break. Never mind an end week break. And, and a weekend end break. Um, it's now Sunday and we are at Old Mac Daddy out here in the Elgin Valley. And their claim to fame is these Airstream, what are they, caravans? Yeah. They're yeah, Airstream caravans. It's like a caravan. Like a caravan. You know that Airstream overseas has a massive following. Like if you can get your hands on an Airstream and revamp it, you got massive mula. No, I did not know that. So Thanks for the the, um, the chappy rapper Welcome. thing. The ch <laughs> <laughs> we are staying in the room called Meta Metal Morphosis. And as you can tell, everything looks like metal. So the whole inside is metal. Over there is one of those um, games where I don't, what do you call that thing? I don't know, it's just a board with nails in, so when you put your hand through it, the nails move to the other side. Yeah, you don't stick your hand through the nails, but you push your hand onto the little, I don't know, spike sticking through, and then it imprints it on the other side. So Linda's busy with our name over there, and she, <laughs> she got halfway, and she's like, yeah, this isn't as easy as what it looks like. And I tried to stick my face through it, and that also didn't work out so well. We're looking to, forward to a little bit of R&R. There is no TV, no radio, no cell phone reception, um, there is Wi-Fi reception. I don't know how well the Wi-Fi works out. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when I have my, my 8 o'clock meeting. What's your first impression so far? What do you think? All you see, these here are puzzle pieces that, I don't know what the puzzle's gonna end up looking like, but we certainly are not gonna try. We said earlier we were, but I don't think that's gonna happen. And then you can pitch. Hey! So you got a checkers board on the floor. The, no, 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 this is like those squid games. You gotta... <laughs> Maybe this really is turning out to be good games. Um, so yeah, nice little aircon in the unit, uh, fully packed fridge. So this is quite an interesting concept here in South Africa. It is an honesty bar, so you get your little piece of paper. You can let them know what you have, and when you check out, you take the paper with them, and you say, "This is what I had." Um, See, and this is. The and then build for it. So there you come out of your airstream, little kettle station over here, which is quite nice. This is your open plan living area. Check the view. 
That's gorgeous. I'm going to throw the drone up a little bit. Huh? For what? Saying I'm gorgeous. <laughs> yes. She's gorgeous. This is really cool. So anywhere that I go, they have to have a good shower. Now, I don't know what the water quality or the water temperature or whether the water pushes out far here or not. But what I do know is that this shower transforms into an outdoor shower. So you can stand here, have your shower up there and enjoy the view of all of that. And then if you've got little peaky neighbors, they come and uh, pay a little bit of a visit. So this is quite a unique one where your shower transforms from inside. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> um, note to self, when you have a shelf standing on a door that opens out when you close it. Um, Old Mac Daddy, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry, I apologize, not my fault, that's a design flaw. They look good apples. They are good apples. Are we gonna go and swim? Mm-mm. -mm. Do you know how cold it is outside? I think we need. I think we need to go and try the beach. I think you can swim and I'll hold the camera. We've got GoPros. And they're waterproof. No, I don't think so. I think that only comes out in next next year's model. <laughs> is that your first time seeing a chicken in the tree? Yeah. We're just taking a bit of a walk around the little farm here, and there's re it's it's like. You're out in nature, there's nothing else to do here. Yes, they've got Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work uh, the best when you're up in your cottages. I don't know if it's any better when you're down here in the office. But um, you've got a lot of little water, and if you can hear, there's a little uh, waterfall or stream behind me. There's a nice big lily pad uh, dam behind me here, and then up behind me over there. So that up there is all the main building. Um, got some free-range chicken children. So yeah, a beautiful little place. It is happy hour now apparently. So we are gonna make our way down to the beach, go and see what they've got going on there. So I got my um my chauffeur. Is that what I am? My chauffeur taking me around. Road's a little bit bumpy, so you may be um having a bit of a bumpy viewing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> are you liking my pommy voice? Are you trying to copy um King in it. No, listen, King in it is on the next, next level. level. Like, King in it is King in it. We are going to rip them off at some point. If you guys haven't watched them, you need to go and watch them. So, they yeah, we, we will. Craig and Amy, and they are absolute characters on there. It's like you have a fat giggle the entire time. I love it. Yeah, like Lindy, like, yeah, she watches the YouTube stuff with me every now and then. But then she's like, don't you watch it without me? Yeah. I. I, I don't know. They're known for the um, orchids, the apple orchid. Orchids or orchards? Orchids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the apple or orchids are, are beautiful flowers. Um, we dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world and seven seas. What are you laughing at? No, 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 no. My singing sounds nothing like the original copyright claim. going to the beach so we are in the middle of the Elgin Valley but old Mac Daddy have their own private beach so Lindy is gonna show us how it's done when we get there <laughs> and she's gonna run While you walk into trees. and jump into <laughs> into the water there I actually I felt the water earlier and um, after you be and it actually wasn't so cold at all I was quite surprised but again I just went like toes dipped in so it may be a little bit colder once you get to a little bit of water or a little bit deeper water but um 
yeah this really is beautiful like come out here and have an event you got your garden over here you got your trees you got a little outdoor bar area over there and then down this pathway you get to another what do you do i was just seeing if this was maybe a eucalyptus tree or something but it's not we're not allowed eucalyptus trees here in South Africa. Um, so we're walking down a little pathway now, which leads to a deck area that's out on the water. And I'm trying my best not to fall here. And then from there, there's a little pathway that you walk along and goes to the beach. How cool is this? So again, like, how awesome would this be on a beautiful summer's day? You can come and sit out here, have some chill time with your mates. You've got a beautiful dam ahead of you here. And... Um, there are some fish in this dam. I did see a few of them earlier and if I can get them on camera I'll show them to you. But yeah, so this little decking area and then this little pathway along here goes all the way down and then that's the beach up there. So you ready? Yeah. I'll pay you 50 bucks if you run this. No. Like a gauntlet. No. Go! Why? And you, what, what sound does a frog make? <laughs> <laughs> Robert, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> so every frog is now called Robert from now on because it goes Robert, Robert. <laughs> I didn't say Robert, I said Robert, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my life where every day is a laugh. Water is a little bit colder than what I thought it was. I've managed to get in like knee deep. <sighs> it's fresh, it's fresh, but I still think that bear over there needs to come and take a bit of a run and dive in. Come on. Please. What? Come on. Place your bets. What's it going to take me to get you to run and dive in? No, I'm running and diving in the water. I've always got a microwave. Shovel up. You'll do what? <laughs> that's a shovel up. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted a granny that's all shivelled up and dry. <laughs> I said there was one thing I had to, or we had to do when we came here, and that was to swim. <laughs> Where's the towel? I've got it. Okay, one minute in county. Even my watch is telling me it's disconnected. <laughs> it's <like> from your brain. <laughs> you know you're allowed to get off. I'm trying to acclimatize. I'm trying to acclimatize. I'm trying to, I'm trying to acclimatize so I can at least swim a length. <sighs> that was cold, but it was good. I feel refreshed. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I need to go and climb into a hot, a hot sauna now. I said that that was one thing I wanted to do while we were here, is to go and jump in the water. And I'm actually glad that I did. It was freezing, but once you're in there, it actually isn't that bad. It's so cold, my toes are blue. And I'm gonna get in the water. Her toes are blue. My whole body is burning. Like, it was weird, the only thing that was like properly burning was my back. It felt like I had hot water running my over my. Burning from the cold, actually, and I didn't get in. Oh, mommy over here is a little bit, uh, oh. a little bit cold. She wants to get back. So that was it for our swimming. Nights up. Get ready. Then we're going to go and have some dinner. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it smelled fabulous. So I think on the menu tonight is either pizza. Or a whole bunch of um, little like hand stuff. We'll see once we get there. But <laughs> hand stuff, <laughs> hand finger foods. <laughs> Forgive me, my brain is still frozen. I just got to show you. We're getting ready to go out here, and this is the view outside our door. How awesome is that sunset? It's just it's gorgeous. I'm just standing here and listening to the birds flying around nature I can't wait to have a house out in the woods like this
So we decided to skip taking you guys with us for dinner last night because we just decided we were going to put the camera down and just enjoy it. But we're down to go and get some breakfast now. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous morning out here today. How'd you sleep there? Yeah. You get a bit cold. I did, and you kept on moving away from it. So I kept on waking up going like, man, this bed is so small. And then to realize that I was right on the edge because Lindy kept on pushing up against me the whole night because she was getting cold. And that's one thing about these things is that the insulation, it's not very good. So it gets bitterly cold um, overnight. And then I would imagine in summer, it gets incredibly warm in there, but they've got the air cons. Uh, we had the heater on, but the ambient temperature and all that is still crazy cold, but beautiful, gorgeous morning, sun shining behind me. We're down to go get some breakfast and pack up and head back to civilization. So I want to show you guys something before we go. All of these lights, we are in the room called Metal Morphosis and all of these lights, and I know it's a bit dark in here, but bear with me, have got these little magnets on them. So you can literally, now the lights are on. Uh, yeah. Possible. So you can literally walk through here and change where you want the lights to go. So magnets over there, here's a magnet coming up here, all the way along, you can move your bedside lamp over there. Really, really neat. Lindy was a little bit artistic here, and there she's written out the R and R and L, which I think is um, pretty cool. And that is it for this awesome one night getaway at Old Mac Daddy at a farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you like what you see, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and let us know what you think about the place. Until next time, remember to tune in for next week's episode. See ya. <laughs> I always get accused of not letting Lindy help with the outro and here she's put on the spot and she's let us know. Until next time. I don't know what you know. I'm just having thought. My thought process is thought being creative on this side. <laughs>